Hey guys, it's your boy back at it again with another video. You know what I'm saying? As you get it. Luke Barris is gonna love that. He loves Lil Pump. Shout out to me because I'm better than both of them. I'm actually like really tired, so this video is gonna suck. And the worst thing is about the video is I'm stranded in Cambodia. Yeah, so there's my suitcase in the back. I packed and everything. I started packing last night. If you have me on Snapchat, uh, name's there. Uh, I was pretty much down, d dumbfounded last night. Spent hours and hours just looking through this whole hotel room, through all the bags. And my passport's just gone. And I always keep it in one place as well, so, you know, it, it's conspiracy theory. So. Yeah, but that's not the only thing that's stolen. The, some of my money's missing. I had a silver pen I got for five bucks and that's missing. So yeah. But besides the stolen stuff, I had fun, you yeah, know, it's pretty, pretty lit. Okay, so I'll just give you my story that of the trouble I went through today. And I'll just hide my stress with these glasses. Oh, this reminds me of Daft Punk. I should get his helmet. Okay, now the story begins. So, we woke up today at, you won't believe it, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I woke up at 6, me. Do you know, I sleep at 12, like, every night almost. I don't know why, it's just a habit. Well, actually, I know why, it's probably this, you know. <laughs> don't tell, <laughs> hi dad. <laughs> Can I get an iPhone, please? Okay, so yeah, so we woke up at 6, and we drive to his work, we're getting all the paperwork done. I've spent hours the night before uh, just filling out this paperwork, because Australia, they're very nice, even though I'm trapped abroad, their website doesn't really help that much, does it? Because I still, I went to the Australian Embassy here in Cambodia, and then I had to do this form all over again, which took me hours to complete. And that was on the iPad. So now I'm have to, I have to write it down. Yeah, me writing. If you've seen my handwriting, you, you'll know that, no, just, you don't give me a pen, you give me a keyboard, you know? Doobity da, dooby dooby da da. But, that's not my problem because Australia gotta be strict. So, thanks Australia. <laughs> wow. So, that takes so, hours and hours. And we're complete, we're, we're already done. We've done everything. And then there has to be a witness to um, see my dad's signature. That's legit the last thing to go and leave. And then my passport is getting processed so I can leave the country. Guess what? They can't do it in the office, unlike in Philippines where they sign the witness thing for you. No, you have to get a stranger or someone that's not related to you to do it. So we had to go out the embassy and going in the embassy is just a pain in the ass itself. Then waiting in line or whatever that, oh, bro, this is the, Australia's gotta be so hard. Like legit, the walls and the embassy is like that, that, that thick. Maybe more. Wait, oh, the camera can't. Yeah, there. It was like this thick. That th it can't even reach. And it's like bang. It's that. It's blast proof. The terraces. You can't. You can't blow up that. It, oh. Anyways, you know. So we we go across the road. We go to this random hotel, and it it's pretty hard because they don't know that. English that well, and then you would yap, sign this, blah blah. We got a random to sign it. 
It was alright though, there's a Rolls Royce I gotta look at, you know. Gotta I gotta snap, right? Another one. Another, Another one. one. Another one. Another one. DJ Kelly. Another one. So anyways, yeah, so that was pretty nice. That I like that. That Rolls Royce. I saw seven Rolls Royces. No, wait. Five, six, seven, eight Rolls. I, I passed math, I think. I average C's. But that's passing, so deal with it. I'm already wearing glasses, so, you know, I'll, I'll do another deal with it in a second. So, where was I? I? I went completely off track. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All I know is I'm stuck here when I should have flew out like four hours ago. You know, this is fun, you know. It's. I don't even know how I lost it. I always keep it in one place. And it was there. I checked my suitcase, my backpack. I checked them like. Oh, I checked them like five times each. I, and I emptied them. And I still looked again and again. Because, you know what? Magic. It's like when you open a fridge and you hope food's in the fridge. But. Oh, wait. Food doesn't magically appear, oh, but I'll try again in another hour. Cause maybe there'll be like Cheetos in there or something. You go back and it's not there. That's what I was doing, but looking for a passport, which actually gets me back home. So, so yeah, that's all done. I'm waiting for it to be processed. I might get it tomorrow. If I don't get it tomorrow, they only do it on working days. So I have to wait till Monday if they don't do it tomorrow, which is Friday. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, so that was my little rant of the day. And yeah, I'm still I'm still stuck here for another couple days. But if you want to keep updated on my shenanigans, I'm addicted to Snapchat. I snap every day almost. So, you know, go hit me up there. Go follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Don't add me on Facebook, please, guys. Stop adding me on Facebook that's that's my place of peace and that's where I add all my family and stuff because you know us Filipinos I know that's why you're adding me on Facebook because we Filipinos we love our Facebook you know what I'm saying we love our Facebook but you know don't add don't add me let me add you there we go let me add you oh yeah by the way we're having a giveaway no I'm just kidding I'm, I'm not I'm not rich, but I can still go overseas, deal with it. <laughs> oh, no, one's no one likes me. Oh yeah, here, I'll, I wanted to show, so this is what uh, Cambodian money looks like. They call it real. Uh, this is worth like nothing. Like you can put this on the ground on the street and no one picks it up. It's like, it's like worse than five cents. This is basically five cents, but it's hundred. Wait, focus. Yeah, that's, if you get this, if you got it, no one wants it. Okay, I'm sorry, that's not even funny, but look. See this, this is not even worth like not even 50 cents, but I can act rich like, oh yeah, gang gang. Yeah, so don't call me out in a future music video if I try to flex on you with like one dollar worth of real. <laughs> okay, so one thing I also want to talk about is the future of my channel. I haven't uploaded any vlogs at all because I'm not really that type of vlogger guy. I can't go out in public in front of people and vlog like my mate Luke does because it's pretty funny. You get guys at the back doing this. I'm that guy, so I'm not used to being the guy holding up the camera like, Hey guys, it's your boy. In front of like a thousand people just like staring at me, judging me for who I am as a person. So yeah, get ready for fun content because this content is gonna be cringe free and nasty. <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs>
Okay, don't judge me. <sighs> my dad thinks I'm dumb. But then also my teachers and classmates do, so I don't think it's his fault. <laughs> but I still got an Adidas shirt. Deal with it. I don't belong in this country. <laughs> oh yeah, and okay, what was I talking about? Oh, I finished talking about my channel. So I guess I end the video. Psych. Yeah, so I guess uh, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, then you obviously have to like the video or else I don't get popular and no one will know that you like it. So like you won't have any friends because everyone knows me. I'm so relatable with my 200 subscribers, like, who are you? I don't know, you have 200 subscribers. All right guys, thanks for watching my latest video. If y'all enjoyed it, thumbs up this video, share it to your friends, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Don't worry, I'll be home. I'll be back in Perth, Australia soon. I'll be back with Cameron because I know all of you guys want more videos. Well, not all you guys, but all the guys that actually care about my videos. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm looking at you kids at school that are trying to make me a meme. Good job, because I like I like that. That was for you. <laughs>